We are here at Kings Mountain State Park at the Castle? National Military <laughs> Battleground yeah. Memorial. We'll give you some more information when we get to the top. These are soldiers. Soldiers fought here for America. If this battle hadn't gone for us, then <laughs> we may not have America and we may not have the freedoms we have now, like being able to read the Bible, like separation of church and state, as in, in England, the ruler, the king or the queen is the head of the church. So they get to make a lot of the rules that have to do with religion. We don't have that here. We get to have religious freedom here. Bye. So behind me, Major Patrick Ferguson and his men gathered and stood ready to face the militiamen that were gathering around them. We need to remember these places and what these people did because without them, we wouldn't have the freedoms we have now. We wouldn't be able to worship God the way that we choose. We wouldn't be able to read the Bible. We wouldn't be able to do a lot of things. What so did we... he look like? He's not here anymore, baby. Why? Because that was a long time ago. But... Kings Mountain would have enabled us to oppose a superior force with advantage had it not been covered with wood which sheltered the Americans and enabled them to fight in their favorite manner. The fighting here at Kings Mountain was not done in lines, uh, which were traditional for the period. Um, it was, you could say, a guerrilla style tactics that the mountain men had learned from Native Americans using tree cover uh, and shadows and things like that. Uh, that's one of the, one of the biggest uh, reasons that we won this battle. This is where Major William Chronicle fell in battle October 7th, 1780. He ordered his men to face the hill um, and be ready, knowing very well that they could be fighting relatives and neighbors who were amongst the Tories. So the Americans um, found out a very important piece of intelligence that the British commander would be wearing a checkered like a flannel. hunting shirt, uh, kind of like a flannel, over his red coat. Uh, so this enabled them to identify him. Sacred to the memory of Major William Chronicle, Captain John Maddox, William Rabb and John Boyd, who were killed at this place on the 7th of October, 1780, fighting in defense of America. Fire as quick as you can and stand your ground as long as you can. When you can do no better, get behind trees or retreat, but I beg you not to run quiet off. If we are repulsed, let us make a point of returning and renewing the fight. Benjamin Cleveland, North Carolina Patriot Leader. Be your own officer. When we encounter the enemy, don't wait for a word of command. Let each of you be your own officer and do the very best you can. If in the woods, shelter yourselves and give them Indian play. Advance from tree to tree and killing and disabling all you can. Isaac Shelby, Tennessee Patriot Leader. Although their tiny farms were far away, seemingly deep in mountain strongholds, these Whigs took seriously Major Ferguson's threat to cross the mountains, hang their leaders, and lay waste to their country with fire and sword, enough to tramp over the Blue Ridge Mountains twice to stop him. Somehow, Colonel Severe's men charged up the mountain twice and were pushed back well, the loyalists in their bayonets and somehow they found the courage to turn around and charge up this mountain one last time.
memory of the Americans who gave their lives here at the turning point of our fight against the British Crown, Kings Mountain. So ahead of us is the Tories camp. This is where they fell back after they lost the ridge. Too late they discovered, they realized that they were surrounded on all sides. The cursed rebels came upon us, killed and took every soul. And so my dear friends, I bid you farewell for I am started to the warm country. See the Americans had lost and lost and lost so many battles up to this point. Like Courtney was saying, Washington's men up to this point hadn't pulled off a victory uh, like this. Uh, this was truly the turning point of the revolution here at the Battle of Kings Mountain. On this field, the Patriot forces attacked and totally defeated an equal force of Tories and British regular troops. The British commander, Major Patrick Ferguson, was killed and his entire force was captured after suffering heavy loss. This brilliant victory marked the turning point of the American Revolution. And yes, I am reading it off of the plaque that's on the monument. So you had a, uh, a little quip or a, a rhyme I had two actually. The uh, battle for King's Mountain didn't go to the King's men. And what was that nursery rhyme? Uh, all the King's horses and all the King's men couldn't beat the American militiamen. <laughs> right here at this spot, eight or nine rifle balls struck Major Ferguson, taking him off his horse. Uh, his foot got stuck in the stirrup. Four stunned loyalists untangled the Major's boot from the stirrup and propped him against a tree out of the line of fire. There, men of both sides gathered to watch a legend die. Patrick Ferguson, age 36, served his king with professional distinction as a soldier for 20 years in Europe, the West Indies, and North America. Renowned as the best marksman in the British Army, he was a dynamic militia recruiter and trainer in the Carolinas. His defeat here signified the end of any British hopes to win the war using Americans loyal to the crown. The son of Scottish gentry, Major Ferguson, was the only Briton to fight in the Battle of King's Mountain. for joining us uh, in this video here at Kings Mountain State Park. Uh, it was a wonderful experience for us to come and learn about the history here uh, concerning the Revolutionary War. And in our previous video, if you want to check it out, if you haven't already, uh, about the farming and stuff that was done here. The history in this place um, is often forgotten, but without it, we wouldn't have the freedoms that we have today uh, and the reason we cover the content in this video is uh, because it's very important. Um, not only um, is it important for the normal everyday freedoms that we express um, sometimes without even, even remembering that we have them, um, it's, it's very important for the religious freedom that we have uh, today. We would not be able to have the content on this channel that we have uh, without the sacrifice that these men made. So I want to thank you for joining us uh, on this on this trip, and uh, I hope you'll join us for the next one. Thank you.
Maker? Maker? We went the wrong way. <laughs>